In this video, we'll do an exam review on neurofibromatosis and cafeole spots. First few important exam questions. Question number one, in which disorder cafeole spots have a smooth and rough borders? Number two, what's phacomatosis? And number three, which type of tumors can occur in neurofibromatosis 1, NF1 and NF2? Now let's discuss cafeole spots and neurofibromatosis neurofibromatosis is a type of phacomatosis and what's phacomatosis phacomatosis is a genetic autosomal dominant developmental disorders of a skin and nervous tissue both of them are ectodermal in origin neurofibromatosis consists of number one cafeole spot number two hematomas of the iris known as leash nodules number two pseudoarthrosis of the tibia and number four neurofibromas now let's discuss the cafeole spots cafeole is a french word which means coffee with milk cafe Cafeole spots are flat, hyperpigmented, light to dark brown, coffee colored birthmarks in the epidermis of the skin. Now, the causes of cafeole spots are number one, neurofibromatosis, number two, McCune Albright syndrome, number three, tuberous sclerosis, Fanconi syndrome, and Silver Russell syndrome. Cafeole spots may have a smooth borders or rough. They have a smooth borders in neurofibromatosis and rough borders in McCune Albright syndrome. Now, neurofibromatosis. These tumors may occur all over the body including skin, bones, eyes and brain. So what's a neurofibroma? Neurofibromas are benign multiple rubbery tumors and have proliferating nerve tissues, schwannoma and fibroblast in the skin. So they have proliferating nerve tissues, schwann cells and fibroblast in the skin. Number one, they grow in size and cause pressure symptoms and damage the underlying structure. Number two, if they occur in limited space, for example, in the intervertebral foramina, they cause radiculopathy or neuropathy. Number three, if they occur in cerebral of aqueduct, they cause hydrocephalus. Number four, if they occur in adrenal medulla, they cause pheochromocytoma. Number five, if they occur in nerve tissue, they may cause epilepsy or they may cause mental retardation. So, neurofibromas may occur in the limited space space areas like intervertebral foramina or they may occur in cerebral effect with adrenal medulla or in the brain. Now types of neurofibroma. The two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is NF1, neurofibroma 1, also known as von reckling hossens disease. NF1 is 10 times more common than NF2. NF2 occurs 1 in 40,000 individuals and cafeole spots are more common in type 1 and rare in type 2. Age of onset of neurofibromatosis is NF1 occurs in infancy or early childhood and NF2 occurs between the ages to 18 to 24. Now gene location and mutation. Type 1 NF1 occurs on chromosome 17 and is due to mutation in the chromosome 17. Normally chromosome 17 is tumor suppressor and NF2 occurs due to mutation in chromosome 22. Now protein encoding. NF1 encodes for the neurofibromatosis protein whereas NF2 also encodes for neurofibromin and merlin protein. There is increased risk of of the tumors in both NF1 and NF2. In NF1, there may occur neurofibroma, astrocytoma, optic gliomas, leash nodule, iris hematomas are known as leash nodules and they occur in neurofibromatosis 1. Pheochromocytoma also occur in type 1 and the malignant tumor that can occur in NF1 is sarcoma. In neurofibroma 2, there may occur bilateral acoustic schwannomas they cause bilateral deafness in more than 90% of cases and number two posterior subcapsular lentiform opacities can also occur in neurofibroma type 2 and other one that occurs are meningioma glioma 
and schwannoma. So in neurofibromatosis 1, NF1, there may occur optic glioma, leash nodule or iris hematomas, phyochromocytoma and they may turn into malignancy sarcoma. Whereas in neurofibroma 2, there may occur bilateral deafness. Why? Because of bilateral acoustic schwannomas. Eight cranial nerve schwannomas that cause bilateral deafness. And number two, there may occur in the eye, posterior subcapsular lenticular opacity. Now diagnosis of neurofibromatosis. Five or more cafeolis spots, more than 5 mm in diameter in children or more than 15 mm in adolescents. So more than 5 cafeolia spots in children and in adolescents with a diameter of more than 15 mm and the genetic testing for DNA for diagnosis. Now answers to the questions. In which disorder cafeolia spots have a smooth and rough border? I already explained a smooth border occurs neurofibromatosis and rough in McEunel Bright syndrome. What's phacomatosis? I already explained so I skip this. Question number three. Which type of tumor can occur in neurofibromatosis 1 and 2? As I already explained in neurofibromatosis 1, there may occur optic glioma, leash nodules or iris hematoma and phaeochromocytoma and malignancy sarcoma. Whereas in NF2, there may occur bilateral acoustic schwannoma, 8 nerve tumor, which cause bilateral deafness and there may occur posterior subcapsular lenticular opacity.